Hi, I'm Senator Michael Moore, and today I am going to be reading Snow Place Like Home, The Incredible Snow Kids of Marshmallow Mountain. The Snow Kids of Marshmallow Mountain were meeting one troublesome Tuesday at two. They all gathered around in their clubhouse. Fort Snowpack tried to decide what to do. Then Snow Joe, their president, rose to his feet. My dad says this place used to rock. There were tourists and festivals all through the year and stuff going on around the clock. Because Marshmallow Mountain was known as the home of the world's most incredible candy. So that's what they made in that empty old factory on Candy Cane Lane, added Andy. Hey, let's check it out, said the twins, Fridge and Midge, and all of the snow kids agreed. They started walking out, all except Spike, who snowboarded there at top speed. Snow Joe explained as they wandered inside, that's the candy contraption, you know, the famous machine that made all kinds of treats, but I guess it broke down years ago. I bet I could find some spare parts for that thing, said Spike, whose ideas were great. He knew all the junkyards that had the best stuff for the sculptures he liked to create. I'll find the recipes, Frige Louise offered. I bet they've been all tucked away in grandmother's cookbooks and family kitchens. I better start looking today. Fridge and Midge painted some colorful flyers their fine feathered friends could deliver. Snow Joe and Andy sped off on their skates to tell all the snow folk downriver. Soon, everyone heard what those snow kids were doing. I'll tell you, those kids got spunk. There hasn't been this much excitement in town since the candy contraption went clunk. Then Snow Joe announced it was time for a test. Each pulley and gear was in place. Each special ingredient poured into the hopper. A huge, hopeful smile on each face. The wheel started whirling, the spoon started stirring, and out popped one peppermint kiss. They waited and waited till Freeze Louise shouted, it's got to go faster than this. Then Andy's quick brain made some quick calculations and soon he adjusted each dial. Then Candy came rocketing out by the dozens, creating a mountainous pile. The snow kids got busy with boxing and bagging and tasting a sample or two. They labeled and loaded and made their deliveries and each had a fun job to do. The news got around that the Snow Kids had done it. They'd gotten things rolling again, and Marshmallow Mountain was just as exciting as Snow Folk remembered back when. From Shiverdale Corners to Snowberry Falls, Chill Valley to Icicle Run, they came for a taste of that world-famous candy and stayed for the warm, friendly fun.